All right, you're looking at the SL510 Lenovo ThinkPad, incredible 15.6 inch laptop. This has everything that you could possibly want, and it does it uh, in the way that Lenovo's been doing it for years, even before when they were IBM, in that very, very nice, very professional, business grade way. Uh, no nonsense computer. There isn't a lot of extra stuff on here, uh, but it does have just about every feature. They just don't show it. It's not on the outside. There's not a lot of media keys. Uh, basically, you have simple volume controls, very large keyboard. Um, now, this is a 15.6, doesn't have a numeric keypad, uh, which makes it part of the ThinkPad series, but uh, it does have a lot of pro level features, stuff that you won't see on a lot of other computers like fingerprint readers. They used to be really popular. They're kind of going away. They're really awesome. I love having a fingerprint reader on my computer. Locking in is a breeze. Just touch your finger. You're in. You don't have to type in a password. Uh, and you know it's secure because no one's going to steal your fingerprint. Uh, you might get your finger chopped off one day, but hopefully that won't happen. So let's jump into it. Let's talk a little bit about the display. It's a 15.6 inch display. Uh, and what makes it really interesting is the resolution. It's actually 1366 by 768. Uh, so basically that's enough to do a 720p native video file, uh, but it's not too, too high, which means you don't need a lot of graphics to back it up. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the specifications. That's where we get into the real good stuff. Uh, now this is an Intel Core 2 Duo T6670. That's a 2.2 gigahertz dual core processor. So you're going to be able to do Photoshop, you can edit videos, you can do just about anything uh, that you'd want to do uh, with this laptop is going to be possible. Uh, you also have four gigabytes of DDR3 memory and it's upgradable to eight gigabytes of DDR3. So if you wanted to upgrade this uh, for let's say Photoshop, it would be absolutely perfect. Uh, you could do a lot of memory on this computer and that's important to a lot of people. You also get 320 gigabytes of storage space, uh, and what's really cool about that is it's not just your average 5400 RPM drive that you find in notebooks for power. Uh, this is actually a full 7200 RPM hard drive in here, so you're getting the full performance uh, hard drive. Now, the graphics are backed up by a GMA 4500 MHD chipset, which is integrated, uh, but it does have the power to do full HD videos, including 1080p, so you don't have to worry about the fact that it has integrated graphics. As long as you're not playing video games, it will suit you for everything, and of course, you could still play. Uh, a bunch of simple games you just can't play, like Crisis, obviously, but you know, that's not what this machine is for anyway. Uh, now, it does have a full optical drive, DVD RW, a 701 card reader, N Draft Wireless, 10 100 1000 Ethernet, Bluetooth 2.1, even a 6 cell battery, so it's very, very fully loaded. Now, uh, I want to take it for a quick tour. I want to show you where everything is. Uh, I'm going to tilt this up a little bit. I want to show you the keyboard and where everything is. Uh, starting off over here, you do have a few buttons uh, for your volume control. So, volume up, volume down, your mute, uh, and then you have a mute for the microphone as well, uh, which is good for business purposes if you're web chatting and with your boss and you know your kid runs into the room, you can just click this, the mic's off. Very nice full-size keyboard, obviously. Uh, because it is a Lenovo and it is a ThinkPad, uh, you do have the little nub in the middle that everybody loves. Uh, so if you don't want to use your trackpad, you can use your nub and these keys, or you can use your very nice trackpad with the side-scrolling feature and two buttons. Uh, it's really up to you, whichever you prefer. If you've been using ThinkPads for years, a lot of them didn't even come with a trackpad. They only came with this. It's gotten a lot better, ladies and gentlemen. Over the years, uh, this thing has gotten extremely precise, and if you've never used one, it's really, really cool. Uh, besides that, just a couple of uh, power buttons over here and a Think Vantage button, which is kind of like a restore. Your fingerprint reader is right over here in the front, and that basically rounds out uh, the keyboard and front area of this desk, uh, laptop. So we're going to switch over to the left-hand side now. Uh, quite a bit of good stuff going on over there. Uh, first of all, just a fan louver to exhaust heat. You have a VGA port to hook up an external monitor. This is a combo USB and E SATA port uh, right there. Then you have uh, your Ethernet, which actually is full 10, 100, 1000 gigabit Ethernet. So it's 10 times faster than your standard uh, Ethernet port. You have an HDMI output, which will output 1080p and multi-channel audio. Uh, and then you have your input and output for your headset and your microphones, as well as right up here on the top, this is a 34 millimeter express card slot. What is this good for? A million things. 3G cards, TV tuners, eSATA cards. You can do a lot with these little expansion cards, and they give you a ton of options. Uh, now in the front, there's only a couple indicator lights, and one is for sleep and one is for battery. Uh, the one lets you know that you're charging, just so you know. Uh, moving on over to the right-hand side of the machine, a lot of stuff. Wireless antenna switch is right here, so if you want to manually turn off the antenna, uh, you can do it right there. Two USB 2.0 ports. This is a multi-card reader. It's actually a seven-in-one card reader, so very powerful card reader. Uh, this is your very, very fast DVD-RW drive. It is a super multi-16X. 
It'll burn just about every media. Uh, it'll do plus R's, minus R's, RAMs, ROMs, just about everything uh, will work on this media player. Uh, and then finally, right back here, uh, this is where you're going to be plugging in your power uh, in case you want to charge it or if you just want to run off wall power. And there's a little tiny bit more on the back here. Uh, you do have a hole for a Kensington lock and one final additional uh, USB 2.0 port. And that's basically it. There you have it. The very nice ThinkPad SL510. Uh, you're going to get about four hours of battery, 15.6 inch display, 1366 by 768. Very nice, very fast hard drive, lots of memory, very upgradable. You also have the 34 millimeter express card slot, and connectivity is through the roof. Not only do you have the 10 100, Ethernet, but you have NDRAF wireless and you have Bluetooth. And it's not any Bluetooth. It's the latest Bluetooth 2.1 plus EDR, so very, very fast. Uh, and that's it. Very, very nice business class laptop. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Lenovo ThinkPad SL510, type in T70-15612 into any major search engine.